Hi, this is Ken Boyd with the Accounting Accidentally website. Here on Accounting Accidentally, you can find over 300 blog posts by clicking here. And also, if you slide down to the middle of the page, you'll see links to over 400 accounting videos on YouTube. This is the second of a set of videos that explain pension and accounting. What we're talking about here is a company that offers a pension and has a liability for providing a pension payment to retired employees. So to continue the discussion from the first video, we have a pension expense. What is the company's expense if they provide a defined benefit plan, meaning that they are liable as a company to pay a specific dollar amount to employees? And there's a few things you need to know here. First, that estimates are needed over a worker's career. How long will the, will the average worker live? What, how old are they when they retire? What is their ending salary? What does the pension plan call for in terms of paying a benefit? So a very important term is vesting, which means pension benefits that the worker owns, that the worker controls, if you will. And typically the vesting is based on years of service, salary, usually the last salary or last few years of salary and other factors. And the question you need to answer as a company, using an actuary, is what percent of workers will remain long enough to qualify for the benefit that you offer? Because vesting is set up to provide an incentive to get employees to stay and help you run your business. Another factor in pension expense is salaries. How much will salaries rise before the person retires? Because part of the pension calculation is based on salary. If you know anybody that's a public school teacher, for example, you may know that public school teacher retirement plans are based on the last few years of salary. Finally, number three, as I already mentioned, the anticipated lifespan after retirement. The longer somebody lives, the longer they're owed a pension. And so actuaries who are math experts consider this probability. The probability of how long somebody will live, will they live to 80, 85, whatever. And again, the issue here is you must pay a pension during retirement. So these one through three are all costs. Now, you can imagine these costs coming out of the bucket, but you have things going into the bucket, which is the rate of return you earn on investment dollars that are in the bucket because that offsets these other expenses one through three. And how we figure that out is to use a discount rate which is used to reflect the present value of a future benefit. So let's say if we've got to pay somebody $2,000 a month and we believe they're going to live for another 20 years. What is that liability worth in today's dollars given a certain discount rate or a rate that we discount the payments back to zero? You can find on YouTube, by the way, I have capital budgeting videos that explain present value. Service costs wrapping up here, the present value of the amount added to a planned future retirement pay for this year's work. So each year you can imagine that your liability for a particular employee's pension will go up and we call that service cost. Another way of saying it is, if you work this year, what gets added to your pension benefit? And the wrap up here is funded status, which is assets in the bucket, how many, much do we have in planned assets less something called projected benefit obligation. How much do we need to pay? So this formula is really the basis for fund pension accounting. I also wanted to introduce as we wrap up here, Conference Room, which is an online community where I do some live training. This is in the process of being set up depending on when you're watching the video. If you click through and go to Explore and go to the feed, you're gonna find articles, events, and courses, and you'll see that I have a course set up here for the FAR test and CPA exam. You'll see lots of live courses that you can take here. Thanks very much for watching, and we'll see you next time.